Yo, what's going on everybody, ladies and gentlemen, Simply Pops here, back again with another video, and the moment I've been waiting for, and maybe you guys have been waiting for, my Battle Beaver custom controller for the PS4 is finally here, you know, I've been waiting for a month, and I understand because it's the conventions, um, VidCom, E3, so I guess everybody at the Battle Beaver office uh, wasn't there to work on my controller, but it's finally here, I can't wait to unbox it, it's finally here, so shout out to you guys that watch my videos, you gotta know, you all know what I'm talking about, man. This controller has been giving me a lot of nightmares. Um, I actually have it hooked up to my small TV here. This left stick is bugging out. The trigger sometimes, I don't know. It, it, the controller gets stuck after a while. And I wanted a professional controller. This is it right here. And before I even show you guys this, before I even unbox this right away, let me show you why you should get a Battle Beaver controller. I'm not sponsored by them by no means. But uh, I just want to show you guys this real quick. So if you do want to control a nice professional controller at a reasonable price, go to BattleBeavers.com, um, BattleBeaverCustoms.com. I throw a link in the description. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty solid prices, fair prices. I paid $150 for this controller. It does sound like a lot, but if you really think about it, an Xbox One Elite controller costs $150 as well. And I'm just getting some customized um, buttons on the back, uh, you know, changing colors. But... I'm, I'm excited to unbox this thing, so enough of this, I'll throw a link in the description, check it out for yourself. Make a controller reality. Make a controller reality, right here. So it all comes down to this. I am ready, let the hype build up. Woo! Alright, alright, let me chill. Alright, let the hype build up, I'm, I'm ready, I'm ready. Alright, so, I couldn't find an unboxing knife, I gotta get one anyway, so I'm just gonna use this real quick. I know, it's a ghetto unboxing knife. Let me zoom out the camera a little bit. Yeah, so let's unbox this real quick. I am so hyped for this, guys. I've been waiting for this for a long time. I can give you guys some more live gameplay. Can't wait, man. And it came so quick. When I first saw the news that your order had been shipped, that was like two days ago. And it's finally here. Like, that's, to me, that's amazing. All right, let's see, man. Ooh, let the hype build up. I didn't I didn't open up the flap yet. I am so excited for this. Let's get the camera ready, man. I am so excited. Alright. Whoa! Uh, so now, guys, 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 this is so fucking dope. Alright, so we got a nice little card here from BattleBeaverCustoms.com. Check out their website, man. When you start customizing controllers, it looks so good online to the point where you just want to just like shut up, take my money. Oh man, and it comes with the original PlayStation box. I do like that. Just letting you know that they actually purchased the controller and just, you know, assemble it and just put on all the mods and all the not mods, but like the buttons, the um the 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 um, you know, the tensions of the analog sticks. This is going to be fire. I can't wait for this already. Woo! I am so hyped. And I want to make this the best unboxing experience because I I saw a lot of Battle Beaver unboxings. And I want to make this one. I'll try to make this one the best. But and they even got that nice little smell. Alright, so this is a nice little PlayStation box. We can put that to the side. And this is my first, I would say this is my, my first professional controller. Guys, this controller looks fucking dope. It feels so light in the hands. The soft touch feels nice in the hands. Now, the only thing I would say that I messed up on. Ooh, this thing feels nice, y'all. Yeah? Alright, <laughs> the only thing that I did mess up on, y'all, yeah, I should have made the buttons red. But I was so scared because online it looked it a little bit cheap. But guys, it really do not look too bad at all. It feels so light. God damn. This feels like a it feels lighter than the PS3 controller. You know what? Do I have a PS3 controller? I happen to have a PS3 controller on the floor. It feels lighter than the PS3 controller. So this is amazing. You know, so you know controllers is heavy. This is gonna really help in terms of comfort. The soft touch, it feels different. Like this is a soft touch feel. Let me get that into focus so you guys can kind of see the, the details, appreciate the details there. Oh yeah, so, and it doesn't smudge up easy. The back is a sexy red. I love the red. It is beautiful, guys. 
you know the triggers oh yeah and we got the trigger stops too so you can yeah so this is nice and of course if you power it on you gotta plug it up to your sync cable and these are xbox one thumbsticks the tension has been increased for this one this is one of the reasons why i got these guys a lot of reasons one i like the buttons the bun buttons feel so clicky i am so excited for this the buttons is clicky the buttons are big you know the scuff is right here in the middle i, I don't know if i really like that that much but the, the the analog stick the tension is high so now the higher your tension of the controller the better your aim is gonna be now i made another mistake i should have put it on the the left stick i only have it on the right stick because it makes sense you aim it with the right stick that controller right there looks beautiful. I should have made the buttons and stuff red, but it is what it is. It, it was $10 more. I, one, I wanted to save money, and two, I wanted to keep that, that PlayStation look of it. I didn't want to change too much of it. Like, this looked like an ordinary PlayStation controller because it had the PS buttons. That's why I want to keep that, and that's why I didn't change the, um, the button there. So, I'm loving it. The soft touch is nice. Yo. It really do feel good in the hands. <laughs> I'm a little bit concerned with the, the, the trigger stops. I'm not sure how they work. I don't know. It didn't come with no tools or nothing. I don't know if I got got with that. But uh, see, so yeah, there's like a little hole right here. I'm not sure if that's the trigger stops or not. But I did order some two, um, two um, trigger stops. So I do got to contact them with that. But the buttons on the back, I believe they're going to work. Okay, so now look. I'm not pushing X. I'm pushing a button on the back. Oh shit, I can't pick that gun. Alright. We're gonna pick the let's pick the cooler. So I'm pushing alright. My finger's not there, boom. So I like the little buttons on the back. I think that's a okay, I died. Yeah, this is nice. So I can jump around. This is not online. It's, I'm just playing on bots. So yeah, I'm using the button every time. I'm 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 not using the button. I'm using the button on the back, but I'm not using the button on the front. And the Xbox One sticks don't feel too bad either. It, it's a little bit taller. Comparing that to the DualShock 4, you can see like it's a little bit taller. But I like it though, man. You know, it has a nice little texture on the side. Like it's nice. I like it. Alright guys, so this is how much I paid for my controller. Um, the same exact everything. Xbox One thumbstick, the attention. This is how much I spent on the Battle Beaver Customs site. So I spent $150.90. But I applied the same exact configurations for the scuff. So yeah, all I did was add red military grip and have the front blue and change the analog stick color to that. And that kind of matches with my controller in a sense, basically. So for 180, that's a little bit pricey. That's a little bit pricey. And with the Battle Beaver Customs controller, you can increase the tension of the sticks. And I didn't even add trigger stops. I should have added trigger stops. So, you know, I didn't even add that. That's another $20. And if you want to change the color, the collar is going to set you back $22. So, you know, Scuff is a little bit expensive. That's the only reason why I didn't get it from them. But yet, with Scuff, they sold, everybody talked about them. Now, any video that I see from Scuff or, um, you know, people that make videos, to me, I I think they're just doing that because they sponsored. But uh, I believe they had, I think they're good controllers. I believe they're good controllers, but i just think that they 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 don't last i think that's the problem with them they don't last you want something that will last and this is i think this is the one i don't have no complaints so far with the battle beaver custom controllers so yeah i just want to compare the prices real quick to that i hope i covered everything i gotta figure out what the two i hope they didn't fuck up my order with the the um the trigger stops maybe i need to use the tool or something but or, or they send me the tool hopefully they didn't fuck up my order with that but um I am done guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video, I'm ex so excited for this, I'm definitely going to be doing a review on this controller, give myself maybe like 3 weeks. Alright guys, until next time, deuces.